and this not only pertains to respiratory medications, this pertains to cardiac medications as well. Um, and so whenever you see the word adrenergic, think adrenaline, think sympathetic nervous system and fight or flight response. So adrenaline, adrenergic response, sympathetic nervous system. Where cholinergic pertains to the parasympathetic nervous system. Okay, so uh, whenever you see these terms, adrenergic or cholinergic, you know that they are working either on the sympathetic or parasympathetic nervous system. And then in addition, medications can be agonists or antagonists, or they can be anti against something. So an agonist helps to promote the natural response by occupying the receptor site. Remember that most of the physiological mechanisms that take place in our bodies is kind of like a, a key and a lock mechanism. So only certain keys will fit to certain receptor sites and be able to initiate a response. So an agonist is basically a chemical or a pharmaceutical um, mediator or response that we're trying to elicit. So when it's agonist, it helps to promote um, or agonize that response. Where an antagonist, as you can imagine, does exactly the opposite. So it blocks the receptor sites. So when we don't want something to happen, when we want to inhibit certain things from happening, that key and lock to match, then we want to give an antagonist because that pharmaceutical, that medication then will block that receptor site as basically like a fake key. So the natural response cannot occur or is inhibited. And then there's also medications that start with anti and they are basically just means that it's against something. So kind of similar to antagonist, but almost like just a different terminology that is used.